continues. And welcome back. It's my pleasure to have Esther Daly with KTVE, K-A-R-D, and she's the promotions manager. Here along with her is Ashley White with the Food Bank, and we're talking about the Christmas Cheer Food Drive, which is now underway. Thank you so much, Esther and Ashley, for joining us today. Thank you. Esther, starting with you, why does KTVE get behind this effort every year? Wow, we've been doing this about 18 years. I know I've been here almost 16, and uh, this is just uh, has our heart uh, as a station because uh, I was just reading the statistics and it's just alarming to me that we have one in four children in Northeast Louisiana, they don't know where their next meal's coming from. Can you imagine that? Exactly. We were talking about yeah. sitting down at the table for Thanksgiving, not thinking twice, you know, and oh, I'm stuffed, and their kids that they don't have anything. And so this drive is so important. And uh, we have about 35 plus schools that are participating, so we're excited about that. And Ashley, how can the community get involved? So the Christmas Cheer Food Drive is one of our largest. All of the local schools, or most of the local schools, are participating. Like Esther said, we have a little over 35 schools. So uh, we encourage parents, grandparents, to get their kids involved. Let them take canned goods to school. Let them learn the lesson of what it means to give for Christmas cheer and just how they can incorporate donating food to um, other children in their schools. You just never know who that goes to. It could be other children, families, or senior citizens. So it's a good way to teach kids about the Christmas spirit, but also let them get involved with their school and, um, you know, just fe help feed their neighbors. Esther, what types of food are needed for the food? Uh, Non-perishable food items. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you can, um, and also what's cool about this is that you don't, you just, uh, some of the kids are donating a change and That's there, right. there's okay. the competition there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we've got a jingle drive, so if they're not okay. able to um, get to the store and buy canned goods, or if you, we have a lot of people say, well, the night before, I forgot, so yeah. send change. That change really adds up. We take it to the bank and cash it in, and that helps us uh, spend more on the community as far as getting food in our area. And i uh, Noticed that the, uh, the grocery stores, the bottom row of yeah. cans, I mean, yes. those are always on sale like right. 19 cents. Right, you can pick that's up a, a great idea. Yeah. yeah. You can put it, those in your or the basket. dollar stores are great. You know, take $20 mm -hmm. and fill a bag up. That's a great option. Um, but there's other ways to get involved. But this is just a great food drive for the holidays that really makes you think about, you know, what we're eating at the holidays and that there's a lot of people in our area that don't have that availability. You know, I was talking about, uh, she and I were just chatting before uh, we got on set and, and just talking about uh, someone relayed a message to me about their church last year that they were trying to help feed uh, people during the holidays and uh, a man was outside the church and a car was coming down the road and he said, hey, if y'all want to come and have, have uh, a meal, the man started crying. He and his kids were in the car and he said, I was just headed to the store to buy peanut butter and some bread to feed my family. So, you know, we just, uh, we're fortunate that as a community, we're a very generous com community. And I'm telling you, this is a serious issue in this area. Yes, it is. And Ashley, how long uh, will the food drive last? So the food drive goes through December 14th. Mm -hmm. um, any day during that time, the kids are welcome to take food to the school. Most of the schools have some type of collection bin or box that they'll collect everything in. Um, canned goods, shelf-stable items. We ask for no glass just because the right. schools, it's a little hard to get back and forth. And then um, Washtenaw Coca-Cola here in Monroe, Coca-Cola yeah. bottling, they will come by the schools and pick up the week before Christmas. They're always great about just adding that into their schedule and helping us that way. Mm -hmm. So they'll collect it uh, the week before Christmas. All right. And well, there's still time. There's still time. So be uh, talking to your kids, be making yeah. sure you got cans in your right. pantry, pull them out. Schools and, can um, still join us. It's right. time to, um, to help the food bank. This is, this is the season of giving. Thank you so much, Esther and Ash. Thank you for joining us. And we'll have more Louisiana living. We'll be cooking with Olivia, so stay with us.